So on the second one, on the second one, guys, 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 I'm going to give you guys time to work on the next one because we're going to have some little bit of time. So on the second one, same exact thing. I see a radical, right? Uh oh. Anytime I see a radical, x plus three is greater than or equal to zero. Automatic. And what else do I see? Uh, I have a denominator. What do we do with our denominator? You put it, x plus three cannot equal zero. Right? You do both. You have to. So let's solve for this. That's easy. What about over here? Well, all right, so to undo squaring, you have to, or I'm sorry, to undo the square root, you have to square both sides. Then we have x plus 3 cannot equal 0. Subtract 3, subtract 3. x cannot equal negative 3. Bless you. All right, so I'm going to use the number line method in this case. x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3, so I go to negative 3. Now in this, in this format, it's included, right? It'd be a closed circle, right? But what does my other constraint say? It's not included. So it's going to be not included. And it's going to be all values that are greater than negative 3. Well, if 0 is, and positive numbers are to the right, that's going to be greater than. So it's going to be going over to the right. OK? All right. I don't want to give away my last one until the last 10 minutes of class. So 